Good morning, YouTubes. How are we doing today? It's Friday in my world. I have no idea what day it is of the week in your all's world whenever you see this video. It is, I don't know, it's uh, 80 some degrees out. It's only like 8.30 in the morning. Got a beautiful day, big blue skies. Beautiful day here in Michigan. Beautiful day, beautiful day, beautiful day. Well, I thought I'd try today. We'd start on some of those 90. I don't know how many I got left, but those when I bought that dealership out, this is one of them. Um, this just happened to be the very first one in the corner. It's the first one I grabbed. I seen the tires were mostly holding air. Um, again, I've had this thing almost three years now. This would be my third summer with it, and I haven't touched it since I've unloaded it off the trailer when I bought the thing. So it's just been sitting out there in the yard. So I thought we would get her going, but it does have a decent seat. So that's another reason I picked it. And another reason I was impressed, it has power in the battery somewhere. 688 hours, chances are transmission's bad. I don't know. I have no idea why it was in their boneyard. I think they, they would part out good units just because they didn't want to sell them used because they were a John Deere dealer. So they would stuff like this they would send over just to get parted out at their used store which is what i bought out was their store that parted out tractors when they went out of business but it has a Kohler motor in it which is good looks pretty clean which is definitely good again i don't know nothing about this It's just a tag that must have got ripped off at some point. I mean, it's, it's definitely a clean motor. No doubt about it. Ugh. I think it's free. I only got one hand, but I think it's free. It's not hard seized. It's, uh, where are you at? Right there. hard to see but it, it's just a tad low on oil not bad it has a 42 inch deck easy level they say we'll see if i get it actual mowing again the rear tires i see this one's off the bead but the rear tires look like they're holding air after three years is sitting that one's soft but it, now i take that back that one's flat see what the uh, fuel tank has to smell like I don't know it doesn't smell like totally bad it doesn't even look totally bad this thing might just start and run who knows might just need a you know oil change tune up blade sharpening and check over that kind of stuff well i don't know i guess we could see let me get the parking brake set oh i gotta go get a key for it throttle oh steering's hard but that's probably just from sitting too steering's very hard let me go get a key that one right there for these I believe those are all my keys what else do I got over here that I haven't showed you guys look at the hood tags look at the fence not hood tags look at the tin aluminum or whatever serial number tags I got from stuff I've scrapped all these years and I didn't save them all like I should have all right, let's see if it does anything. It does nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. I don't believe you shouldn't have to sit in the seat on a John Deere. I've never seen that before, ever. Yep, still nothing.
There might not be enough juice. Let's go get my voltmeter. I'm just carrying you guys all along. This is basically how I would do it. If I had to get something running. This one, if it does run and seems to move and all that, I might go further and, you know, do the tune up and do all that. And uh, if it's good enough, get my buddy out of that errands. If not, I got a bunch more. One of them's got to be a good one. There's a craftsman out there. I was going to get the craftsman, but this one that was right in the corner, and I'm like, well, there's no reason. Oh, yeah, there's no bolt in that. There's no voltage in that battery. Enough to turn the... To turn the hour meter on, that's about it. That's why. Let me get my battery charger. Y'all see my bare feet? Yep, I walk around all summer long with no shoes on. Shoes hurt my feet. So every chance I get, I don't wear them. I always have them with me, so in case I gotta go to a store or something like that. But especially here at home, I don't have them. a long video it might be a short video hard telling I need two hands here for a second I'm on. my tripod sit steady my end broke off my uh, battery charger so I gotta use vice grips I just ain't bought another one to put it on I got red ends but I don't want to do that to myself I suppose I could tape them black paint them black I don't have any black ends for some reason. So I just use my scripts. That ain't not very good. Ooh. Sorry about that guys. Still not. Probably not enough juice. We'll get a jumper wire, jump the solenoid, or just a screwdriver, I guess I could. Just a screwdriver, jump the solenoid. Put a battery in it. You guys don't need to see me change batteries, so I am going to pause you for a bit. Stand by, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. I got a uh, good, I think a good battery. I might still have to put the charger on it. We'll see. I have not tried cranking it over yet. I just I just took that out of another running tractor, so I know it had some juice in it. So, all right, let's uh, 
see what happens here. The gas didn't smell that bad, so this thing probably hasn't been set in like a super, super long time. There's a chance it'll smoke when you first start it, but that probably should go away. Oh, here we go, guys. Or it might not start at all. Yeah, look at the water coming out of that muffler. Maybe I'll put you down here by the muffler. Oh, where's it exit at? Right there. Let's see what comes out of there if it does start. Uh-oh. Yeah, I gotta put my battery charger on. Alright, now let's see. Well started. That lifter noise should go away. We'll give it a minute here. Uh, sometimes you gotta jack the front of these tractors up just as high as you can get them with the engine running. And that does something to these lifters. It gets the air out of them. I know deers are that way. This is basically a deer. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push that in. Get rid of my meter. Let me see if I got any movement on the transmission. it down God, it seems like it wants to move let's uh let's throw this PTO clutch just just slightly nothing okay so we got nothing there we got C switch yeah we have a C-switch. Look at the mess that thing made. Still dripping out of there. it up yet. I'm going to let it sit here and run for a little bit, guys, like that. Uh, I don't think y'all want to sit here and listen to it run. And uh, see if I can get this lifter tick to go away. See you shortly. Okay, guys. It's been like five minutes. 
it, it hasn't quietened it up at all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep moving forward. Maybe an oil change. Maybe some more hours on that. I still can't believe how much came out of that. But look what happened when I rev it up. Ah, uh, you couldn't really see it. That's not my concern. I went to go shut it off. And this is what happened. This has got me stumped. It backfires. Sometimes it, it wouldn't shut off at all. Starts right up. You know, it didn't backfire that time. I don't know. This motor might, might not be much good for one reason or another. But we're going to go ahead and keep moving forward. So I guess I need to blow up these front tires and see why the deck's not coming on and see, make sure the deck's safe and all that. But I do need to blow up these front tires. So let me get my air compressor going here. Hopefully they blow up easily. And get my uh, battery charger out of the way. Again, guys, this is exactly how I would do it if I was videoing or not. This is what I do. So I thought I'd video what I do, and hopefully somebody will watch. see if we can get this sometimes when they're off the bead like this they're not easy to get back on but let's see first you get the grass out of it that's for sure that grass don't do you any good now this one I think is just off on this outside bead so this one should be fairly easy I hope there's a couple different tricks to getting them on the bead none of them are easy or safe yeah see that one went right on Okay. I know it has a leak. I ain't worried about that. I just want to see if we can get this thing to mow some grass. And this one was low. And put some heat in that motor. And maybe we should take that flywheel cover off before we do that. Or at least the air cleaner so we can inspect. Matter of fact, yes, that's what we'll do. We will take the air cleaner off. That way we can get a look inside there, make sure there isn't a mouse nest. I maybe should have did that already since I let it run so long. I ain't perfect. Not even close. One of y'all even called me a butcher. Don't care. I own everything I work on. That's all that matters. I don't do this for anybody but me. I don't do customer work. I'll do friends, but they're my friends. They know I do good work. I know I do good work. I've been working on these things a long time. Videos don't always portray it, but yeah, it's clean up in there. Let me go get a flashlight, maybe you guys can see. That's something everyone should do every year, every spring. Most of the time you can pull your air cleaner off and get a decent look in there. Just like this one. I don't know if I can get you guys in there. Oh yeah, I can get you right in there. See, that's all nice and clean in there. No mice nest. So that all looks good. All right, let's see what's going on with this deck.
I didn't even see my uh, my phone got crashed with that rust. Ouch. Well, there's a downfall to walking on your bare feet. You step on stuff. All right, let me uh, get my phone cleaned up here real quick. We're only on five minutes. We're doing okay. We got it running. And it feels like it wants to move. Wow, really got it bad. Clean it up later, at least the lens is cleaned up. I'm gonna have to spend some time. This is just a rough rub off the back of my phone from the rust off of that muffler. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and put this back together. Clean it back on, guys. And then we can see what's going on with this mower deck. And get it lowered down here. So you can actually look at it. I gotta get a kneeling pad. I can't kneel on this concrete no more. I'm too old. My knees don't like it. I might as well get a drink of pure leaf while I'm here. Best stuff in the world. Unsweet. Unsweet iced tea. And a kneeling pad. It's just a big piece of foam I got. This one's cable activated. Cable runs down and moves the lever and just tightens the belt up. That's how this works. Belt's on, I see. I'm not sure why that wouldn't have came on. Oh, well, there's that. There is that issue. But that could be the only issue. That's fixable. Weldable. I've welded worse. But let me uh let me throw this PTO lever and see what happens down there. That's not even close to enough. Why is that? Why is that not going off? Seized up. That's gotta go a long ways. 
I don't know about that. Hard to believe it's the wrong belt. But the brakes aren't off yet. So it's got to go more. I don't know, it's against the brakes. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'm going to go ahead and pull it. Something ain't right. Needs to be pulled anyway so it can be welded. Alright, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull it. I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. So this tractor... I don't know what it resembles. An L-series, maybe? I don't know. I'm terrible when it comes to these new models, I gotta tell you. Ain't too much. Uh, you just see me pull the cable. Uh, that's just that's just that simple. There's uh, two keys there. You can either pull them there. Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. It kicked me off. I must have hit a button. Anyway, you just watch me pull the cable. There are two pins there. You don't have to pull this one if you want to pull this one to get let that arm just drop down and get out of your way it'd be easier to pull off and then there's just that front rod right there and then you just pull the belt off so it is pretty much that simple I have to lower it down i don't know if i can get it like this or not we'll see pins all bent up up here. I don't know if I'll be able to get it off or not. I got my trusty Leatherman. That one's all bent up. I'm doing my best, guys. Hopefully I'll get better. But anyway, thank God for my trusty Leatherman on me. Saves me a trip back to the toolbox. That's the main reason I carry it. There, that one's out. Now that washer won't come off. Really? Ah, there it goes. Okay. Pull that down. This one let the deck drop right there. Now I just gotta pull the front one. Yeah, I can't see. Let's go look at it together. You just gotta look at things and be able to see it. Most of the time you can feel. And there's your deck. Alright, let me go ahead and pull this off real quick so I can get that welded back on.
I believe. <clears throat> yeah, that's where it's just more broke out than rusted out. It's not really rotted right there. It just took abuse somehow. brakes were just seized up that much I think the brakes are just they are the brakes are seized up that much now this one will go back you guys see all that you can't cut there I think that's all that was going on guys is the brakes were seized up they pivot here with a spring and now they're stuck off this one's moving This side somewhat, there it goes. Yeah, see, this side's moving off on, obviously. This side's stuck off. So I think this side was giving it fits. So it just needs to be either taken apart, lube, played with, back and forth a couple times, and that'll free up. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and fix this deck, I guess. I am going to go ahead and get it cleaned up. You guys don't need to see that. You all clean metal however you all want to clean metal, and you all weld however you want to weld. If you can't do either of it, then find whoever, obviously. But I'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and ready for welding. And then I'll bring you guys back in to weld it, I guess, if you want. I can bring it back, bring you back in to weld, so I will. So... All right, guys, we will see you in a second. All right, guys, uh, I pretty much got it cleaned up as good as it's going to get. Got her beat around where it's somewhat straight. I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably set it something like that. Tack this here area. And then hammer this down right here. It's a little high right there, but if I can get it to hold there, it'll hammer down better. So I'll get this exactly where I think I need it and just put a couple tacks in it for now until I can get it all tacked in and then get it to where I think it needs to be. I do believe, I know they set it at an angle, but I do believe they lean just a little bit. I'm not sure, but I think they do. So I just got a little Miller 110 wire feed with Argon and that's, I've used it for, I've had this welder probably close to 20 years and I've welded everything I've pretty much ever welded with it I do have a stick welder if I'm welding on a trailer or something heavy again guys I am no professional welder I have good days I have bad days but even on my good days I guarantee it's not that good so criticize me if you want my welding skills are minimal at best I do okay I get to hold my own but that's my only disclaimer, y'all. Let me go ahead and get a couple tacks on this, I think. There we go. Cut my wire off here. And my welder needs a tune-up, that's for sure. It could use a good new liner, new tips, new everything. Because it has been that long. All right, guys, can you see? Yeah, here we go. My helmet is on a grind. Can't see.
my bottle on. I did not. Well, it's a lot better when you turn your argon bottle on. Much, much gooder. <sighs> Guys, when it comes to metal, you don't need to smash it. Just light taps, light taps, light taps. It moves a little bit each time you do that. You smash it, you just stretch it that much more. That you gotta deal with, gotta deal with it being stretched. this back side. It looks pretty close to where it needs to be. I think that looks good enough to weld up. I'm gonna go ahead and weld up, guys.
There we go guys, that's as good as it's probably going to get. I'm going to flip it over and uh, see what the bottom side looks like. About as crappy as I expected. I'm going to go ahead and throw some welds on this side too just to make it hopefully that much stronger. Let me see if I can get you guys where you can maybe see. I don't know. Right there, ish. Right there. Get my ground hook back up here. There you go guys, see how it's really contaminated right there with all the pits in it. Not much I can do about that. It's an old rusty deck. Well it's not, it's old but it's really, besides that it's really solid shape but I do believe that's going to do it for our mower deck. Go ahead and uh, get my uh, welder out of the way. All right, let's go ahead and throw that back under there, see if it works. forward. Oh, I gotta get a new washer and pin for that. For this one. This side.
Come on, man. get in there. Well, now I need to get two pins. There it is. Come on. Come on with you. Come on with you. Come on with you. Come on with you. Right there. There we go. That one just wanted to fight me. There you go. Keyway or a hairpin. In the washer or somewhere. Need a washer for one of these. I would totally thought what maybe one of them arms would have it on it, but I'm not seeing one. Maybe I could fix the one I have. These newer John Deere's, some of them take a, a washer before the roll pin or before the hairpin to keep the hairpin from getting destroyed. And the holes are a little too big on their brackets. So maybe I can just try and straighten this one out. That's the problem is it's not really round anymore I don't know if I could squeeze it back round again or not probably not oh well, yeah it did go a little bit now that might go on there let me see oh yeah that fell right on there this belt on oh, I guess I can't, can't tell you the front end of it. I can't put the belt on yet that's my silly bad I can't put the cable on though my extension cord out of the way That's your cable. Let's go to the other side. Get the other side hooked up. Same deal. Pin. And then uh, I don't know 
nice just spun that around like that this front is just this rod and I think it's supposed to have a washer too It's not gonna get one. <sighs> now the bell will come on. I am sweating like a stuck pig, guys. Holy cow. Muggy. That belt's still loose. There it goes. It does go. Ish. Spray a bunch of lube. Spray a bunch of lube doobie on there. Work it back and forth a couple times, see if we can get her to free up. and take this uh, mulch cover off. I'm not even sure why it's on there. There's not a a mulch kit on there unless these don't take a mulch kit. Unless this, this is the mulch kit. I don't know. But it definitely needs a shoot, doesn't it? That blade is right there. Yeah, we'll put that back on. not be the right rubber or something that's why they got them twisted yeah I think I'll leave that on there go ahead and spray the other side oh I can't see the other side oh there it is Let's see if we can go mow some grass with this thing. Mow a couple passes. Probably gonna put some fresh gas in it. Again, I don't know how long, but at least three summers, this thing is not mowed grass. And I don't know how long before that. fresh to it I don't want to waste too much in case it doesn't move or mow or any of that good stuff tires are still holding air that's gonna have to be good enough for now I don't want to waste all my gas on the, on the rise here in Michigan I don't know where it is where you're at feel free to comment below we're back pushing four bucks again, just about. High threes. All right, guys, this thing will start. Let's see if it'll mow. If it'll start. Still don't steer with the dart.
first safety sweat. I keep forgetting to push the button. Six hundred and eighty-eight point five hours. Well, there you go, guys. At least three years. Yes, it needs an oil change. Yes, it needs the blade sharpened. Uh, yes, it probably needs some belts and idlers. I'm sure it needs all that stuff. But that actually mowed quite well. I know it's probably hard to see on camera. This looks fairly nice for just something I just drug out of my junkyard. Look at all the rust all over the front from the muffler front tires are still up as of now i'm sure they're not going to be for long oh no well the tranny seemed tight it had reverse seemed like a fairly solid tractor we gotta figure out if the lifter tick's going to get better oil change might help that some nice good w or uh, straight 30 um wouldn't hurt it that's for sure these i don't know why these are on there this uh duct tape other than uh they were towing it backwards or something i have no idea but there's some unfortunately there's uh they're gonna leave a mess behind that needs a lot of work there's there's some tricks i don't know carb queen on a rag is a good one wd-40 i think takes off sticky probably try i don't have any i have to go get some i think wd-40 takes softens this sticky stuff up but yeah, that's gonna leave a mess. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, for now, I'm gonna leave her. I might put another hour or something on it just to uh, see if I can get that engine to quieten up. If I have to put an engine in it, if I decide to go that far with it, who knows with me. Um, I'll bring you all back, show you how putting an engine in it. That's not a problem. No problem at all. I think I have lots of engines out there. It's just a Kohler. But I bet it quietens up. Even it might again. It might take an oil change, but the motor's nice and dry. All that. Well, there you have it, guys. John Deere Saber, manufactured by John Deere. Let's put it that way. Um. Yep. Ran after setting three years. Thanks for watching, guys. Please uh, like, subscribe, comment, comment, comment. All you want. Please comment. I do read every one. I don't always respond um comment all you want like all you want watch all the way through watch the commercials if you have it in you um try not to skip through them i am uh not quite to 1050 subscribers yet i'm not i only think i'm quite to 1025 um but but just i'm growing every day every day i get more and more subscribers and i appreciate each and every one of you i hope if anything y'all learn one little bit out of each video or something I know I'm not perfect at this. Um, I've been playing with John Deere lawnmowers almost 40 years. I was a dealership mechanic, but that was 30 years ago. Um, so this new stuff's got me thrown a little bit for a loop. I've been doing the salvage business um, close to 20 years now. So there was a 10 year gap. I didn't work on much, I gotta tell you. 
Mom um, had kids, was married, had kids, all that good stuff. So I wasn't working on much there for 10 years. I was working at my local school district as a custodian. Um, and the last thing I wanted to do was go out and work in my shop. But anyway, I picked up. I was going to restore these things and sell them and realize they were worth more in pieces than they are together. And decided to run with the salvage thing. Um, life has moved on, obviously. I've divorced. I've remarried to a great woman um i've lost a child i have a great son he uh he supports my youtube channel 350 percent he contacts me all the time my son he lives uh two and a half hours away north from here he lives way up north on his own kind of loves it but anyway please like subscribe tell your friends tell your neighbors tell your grandparents tell your aunts your uncles your cousins your enemies i don't care tell the guy at the grocery store to watch small engine garage take care guys guys i'm gonna jump back on here i mowed only about another 10 minutes and it don't hardly tick at all now that's just normal polar noises i can't believe it I didn't mow that long. It still has 668.6 hours. And now it's quiet. They just needed, these lifters are funny in these motors because they sit sideways for one. They sit horizontal. Not sideways, they sit horizontal. Let's see if it shuts off. Probably not. Been sitting here idling for a minute or so. Oh, yeah, there it shut itself off, I guess. All right, guys, I just wanted to jump back in, just say it did end up quieting it up. Sounds like a really good motor now. Um, still needs to get some heat put back into it. It needs an hour or so. I'll have my wife mow with it um, the next time she mows. I'll get the front end where it steers nicer, and uh, this might be a candidate for my buddy. I'm not sure. I got a couple other ones out there. I want to give them the best one I can. So uh, this one I'm probably going to just get the front end fixed which is probably a matter of jacking it up, greasing it, turning it back and forth, and uh, let my wife mow with it, get a one full mowing out of it, put another tank of fresh gas in it, let that get run through there, and uh, we'll see from there. All right, guys, thanks again. Uh, thanks for watching Small Engine Garage. I just wanted to cut in. Um, I might just put this in the video somewhere, but uh, probably before my exit. But anyway, if I don't, thanks again for watching and take care, guys. See you next time.